Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and today for lunch we're gonna go to one of the most thrilling French food restaurants in Bangkok. You'll have a chance to see the chef as he cooks, but he has insane cooking skills, and he has so much passion, and he has such a unique story about how he got started cooking. And on top of that, the restaurant is in one of the most unusual, unlikely locations. And so I'm gonna share all of the food with you, this entire unique, French food gourmet experience with you in Bangkok. But just a quick story of how this came about. It was about 6 a.m. this morning, just this morning. It was completely unexpected. I got a, a message from my friend Pitan who said, are you free for lunch? Uh, so I don't know too much about the restaurant that we're going to or what it's gonna be, but I do know that it's one of the most unique and one of the most exciting French food dining experiences in Bangkok. So I'm very excited to see what happens and we are on our way now. Take a look at this location. This could be one of the more unique French food restaurant locations I've ever been to. Uh, we are really in the back streets of Bangkok in an industrial area uh, near to Rama 3 Bridge and the river. There's a lot of shipping industry here. There's so many factories in this area, a lot of production. Uh, there's tire shops, there's pallet shops, uh, there's packaging and the restaurant is right in that building. But another thing that I need to tell you about is the uniqueness of the name of the restaurant, which is called Yak Tam Te Mayak Gin, which means I want to make it, but I don't want to eat it. And so that's uh, Chef Big is the, the chef of the restaurant. That is the slogan. That's what his restaurant is called. Um, and so already, you know, it's something unique and something uh, definitely different and his own expression of his cooking. Where are we? <laughs> what is the... Are you shooting already? Yeah. <laughs> we are in the middle of a uh, Rama tree area. I actually, Big, he was a chef from like two Michelin star restaurants. And then he, they decided to do the restaurant together oh. in the house. They live here and you have to see. You don't know if it's a mechanic shop, or a print shop, or a tire shop. It could be anything, or everything. Here we go in. Look! Wow. Oh, it's a print shop? I still don't know what it is. It's a print, it's print shop. Oh, it's a print shop, okay. This is yeah, house. This is a print here. shop. Yes. Um, these are the amazing, amazing mom and dad here. And we're gonna go upstairs to the restaurant. Cup of my cup. My belly like cup. Can die cup. <laughs> okay, so we go okay. upstairs to the restaurant. Here we go, follow me this way. So now we are on the way to the second floor. And this is their house, this where, is they their live. house where they live. And then yes. this and is also the restaurant in their the house. house. Who's that on the door? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that's the sign of best quality restaurants so in Bangkok. So now we are in front of the restaurant, where, where the restaurant located in the house. All right. We are on the second floor of the house. And... Room and it opens up into a room which is literally like a, a straight up French dining room. Look at this place. And the kitchen is right here. Like, right here. Chef Big, come on. This is Chef Big. This is Chef Big. Very nice to meet you. I'm a very big fan of yours. When I was in space, I opened your channel to all my foreigner friends. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. How did you start cooking? It begins 10 years ago. <laughs> at that kitchen. Awesome. I trained myself to uh, fry an eggs. <laughs> then I realized, wow, Thai uh, mythic Ah. Come on. It didn't so stick many in the pan? Uh, factors. Ah. First of all, the pan needs to be hot. The shape of the pan, the oil that you put on the pan, and then the time you wait the oil to heat up. Mm. And then you put the eggs in, and then you move the pan or not. So 
in no one fried eggs is so many factors. That's why I fall in love. In the past, the, the parent not allow him to like learn to cook and be a chef. So it's kind of like he tried to prove the parent that he can do a business. Awesome. Yes. Kian said photos. it's the most exciting wow. <laughs> French restaurant now, you'll now, ever go to. Now we exciting. <laughs> I'm also so excited real. though too. So you went to school in Switzerland? Ah yes. I go uh, study abroad, Kalong Land. I have hotel years oh. in a uh, master degree in Swiss. Then I work there also, but I work at Chateau V, which is like okay. a, a classical French restaurant. Wow. And in that kitchen, they they cook. They don't mess around. They just cook and cook and cook. So it's amazing. Awesome. I, I, I get to watch fish, but then I cook at the same time. So wow. <laughs> and uh, it all started. It all started with your you wanting to like prove that you could cook. Ah yes. That's awesome. That, that is the, the core value. The core in the uh, Okay. Chef Big has the coolest story where, where, where cooking was almost his rebellion um, that he could cook, that he could turn his uh, cooking into a business. Yes, when he opened for the book, he opened only like two months for booking and it's full. Like within an hour and the wedding list is full until the end of the year now. Now all we should, now we should in February, right? All the way until, the, so like... 10 months, it's full? Yes. Oh. Actually, I can say the most popular restaurant people want to book in, in Bangkok in for Bangkok. now. Yes. Wow. I'll see. I'll see. Thank you, Vijay. Okay, let's begin. This is the first time I'm going to cook the crispy. 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 And then pair with the classic combination. I'm going to cook the crispy. This is 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 the crispy. Six courses, including some heirloom tomatoes. There's some salmon eggs. There's crab. There's this roll. There's foie gras. I'll go with a mix of everything and a tomato. The crab just melts in your mouth. I think I made a mistake. Chef said just start with the the roll. So I'll make that my my second bite. Oh, is that filled with crab too? Wow. Oh, there's amazing. Shredded crab. It's so incredibly creamy and has this amazing, like, citrus zestiness to it. Yeah, I should have picked this up from the beginning. And really quickly, if you're enjoying this video, could you please give it a thumbs up? Click that like button. I would really appreciate it and it would really help this video out. Thank you in advance for clicking. Thumbs up. Chef is already getting started on the next course, the next plate. But if you look down this window, that's the print shop right there. That's the, the warehouse printing. This is the, the gourmet French restaurant. Unbelievable to watch Chef as he cooks. He's so laid back and just, yeah, like he's born to be a chef. So laid back, so relaxed, so fast paced, but just ultra 
determination, ultra like focus. So the next dish is foie gras on toast uh, with cherry sauce. All that just, all the butteriness of that foie gras. Just went that, through that like a piece of butter. It's so oozy tender. Oh wow, it literally just liquefies in your mouth. And then you've got the sweetness, the tartness of the cherry sauce, the butter, the crunch of the toast. Oh wow, that is rich. That is amazing. What I think I also love so much, even having just two courses, it's so like personal. It's so a reflection of his personality. In Thai, it's called yeah, tham, but I don't want to eat. Which means uh, I want to cook, but I don't want to eat. Wanna eat. He doesn't want to eat his food. His food. Yeah. Awesome. He's so cool. Yeah. He's so incredibly like laid back. He's very young compared to the like other fighter in chef. I was gonna ask him how old he is. Oh, those are the scallops. Oh, chef, that's awesome. Those are huge. It's awesome. It's baking. Oh yeah. Okay. Wait, chef, how old are you? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Sukyat cup. Sukyat cup. Let me know if you need me to move anytime. No, no, no. At any time, man. No, no. 27 years old and doing this absolutely incredible. It is the most famous soup in the world. Okay. It's for the only, only reason that this soup has revolutionized all the gastronomy world. Is that the king of chef, chef of king, created him. Okay, his name is Paul Bocuse. Paul Bocuse, I have a in the room. He is chef in Mung Leong. He has been in the long วิธีนี้เป็นกุ้งวันนี้ส่วนของทุกคนนะครับจะเป็นขัวมะเร็วนะครับซุปเห็ดมะเร็วนะครับซุปออกมะคิวนะครับที่ผมใส่ลงไป
when I learned yes. it, uh, last week, you have to hear the sound. Ah, uh, because you can tell yeah. the texture yeah, by yeah, hearing the, the texture, sound, right? Yes, yes. Actually, in fact, they they always do like this when they cook, like, mm. and then they hear the sound. It indicates all the right, the doneness, the texture, mm. the consistency. I just love his cooking style. Just, they're so laid back, so chilled out, and so much skill. Uh, risotto kattawa tam jak sen proset. I made this one is called proset. You can already find it in the uh, Savoie region, Savoie region in the French Alps. Like a bridge. This is a straight up foot bridge. So I think I'll cut a piece. Look at the size of this. You can already feel the muscularity of that shrimp. Mm, it does feel like little squares of pasta but really chewy, um, really kind of gummy in texture, and then that's just a rich, like, you can taste the hud butter in that sauce, the tamale. <laughs> Paint it. One of the coolest things is that you're eating in the kitchen, and the kitchen is in the dining room, so between every course, you can come talk to the chef and hang out with the chef between every course. Yeah. You guys are awesome. Wow, I just saw that. Mm. Wow, Lin Wai Ma Lin. Yeah, you wide mark up. Oh. <laughs> you see that? Wai Ma Ga. Wow. I thought it's gonna be Super only your face. Lens. Yeah. Super wide angle lens, go. <laughs> it's every day. The mashed potatoes? Yeah, because uh, I am the, the Asian in, in the kitchen. <laughs> so I get the recipe. Mashed potato di dirty? <laughs> yeah. I get the recipe. It's good for me, but back then... You got it. Uh, Perfect. Super anxious. <laughs> wow, dude. Yeah. I do every day 20 kilograms, 10 kilograms. Wow. But you learn the craft then. Yeah, man. I, I learned the craft. One question I have. How did you choose French food, though? Uh, very easy question to answer for me because at first it's, it's a bit hard. Uh, but back then, I begin cooking by searching on YouTube. No? Okay. Uh, how to cook steak? And okay. Gordon Ramsay always pop up the first one. Awesome. Then I flash back ten years later. You can ask my brother. I still watching his cooking. I Gordon still Ramsay. Watching Marco Marco Pierre White. When I go to Lyon, I taste Chef Paul Bocuse's uh, uh, food, and I know, wow, this is this is the food I want to cook and the food I want to ah, eat. Did you enjoy French food when you were a kid, uh, or just uh, from watching YouTube I, I, videos? No, no, no. I, I, I grew up eating farang food. You can ask my mom; they always know that I love uh, farang food more than Asian food. <laughs> always. Have I'm you ever food. have you ever enjoyed cooking Asian food too, or you do uh, enjoy cooking I try, Asian food? I try, but for me, it's, it's too complex. Ah. Because. Uh, the good things about French or European food is that they, they have the, the Bible. They have the Bible, they have the right and wrong. You yeah. can open and you say it is wrong. Ah. But in Thai cuisine, it's, it's super hard, you know, because Thai people, they, they don't want to tell a recipe. Some people wake up at midnight to cook some piece of curry. You know, they don't tell. Or so like so a, the, the culture is not... Secret recipes. Yeah, it's not passing. Some, uh, but in French, Augustus Coffier, he wrote a Bible. So it's, you have right or wrong, you have technical uh, method. And that's why I love uh, Western cuisine the most. I rest the meat super long time. This is 10 years of my cooking. You see, there's no blood come out. Wow. But when you touch it, it's, it's, it's warm. This is super hard because I didn't sous vide or... or... Amazing. <laughs> Thank you.
texture. I like, I like that. 45% butter? 45% butter, he said. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a signature dish with the slogan written, his, his motto written on the plate. I have to first just try those mashed potatoes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. I don't think I've ever had mashed potatoes like that. It's like the whipped cream of mashed potatoes. I told you, that's why, that's why I asked for more mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I need it too. Those are the best mashed potatoes I've ever had. Yeah. Hands down, come. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beef wellington. Look at the beef inside of it. The pastry surroundings cooked absolutely perfectly. So it's bloodless yet pink in the middle. The tenderness, the juiciness, that meat juices, the pastry. Oh man. I did get a refill of mashed potatoes in a cup. These are the most, a moment of silence for these mashed potatoes. Life-changing mashed potatoes. Wow, these are some of the greatest perfected mashed potatoes that you will ever have. <laughs> I don't need whipped cream anymore in my life. How is it? Yeah, vanilla creme brulee. Oh, it's so creamy. He's gonna lick her bowl clean. Oh, it's so light and fluffy, yet creamy and rich at the same time. Really taste the vibrancy of the vanilla. And then it's just so refined, so delicate. Oh, it's so good. That's unbelievable. I can't believe how rich and creamy it is while being light and fluffy all at the same time. Do you like al dente? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I do. I like whatever, whatever you decide. I need pet, huh? Oh, you need pet, I got it. Sure. So what is this dish? Chef? So this dish is the dish that I make me get this room. Spa hot pool, Pasta. Uh, it's originated uh, one year ago during the COVID-19 season. Ah. I just uh, make them for uh, just for fun for my uh, followers, my friends on Facebook, and then they start. And then people started ordering yeah. it. I, I don't know, but I, I think you will see why. <laughs> yeah, dude. So it's kind of a Thai, uh, yes, inspired. Thai inspired yeah. pasta. Leo, Leo. Me pasta, you have Lisa. Pakloy, you know. Okay, my well, like well, I'm, my like I'm. <laughs> I sacrificed the camera. Like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's, not, it's not worth it. <laughs> oh, chef's pasta. Like, you could just watch him cook all day. That skill, that like hyper, just hyper energy. Dude, he is a, what a talent. อันนี้มันเรียกว่าอะเกลโอเรโอที่ซอสน้ํามันใช่แต่ว่าชีนี้มันผมไม่ได้ใส่เกลือเลยเขาบอกเขาไม่มาหรอกเขาบอกว่า
This is just an extra dish, and this is one of the dishes, it, again, this dish has a story because Chef Big uh, started cooking it during the pandemic and posting it on Facebook, and then his friends would order it, and it became a sensation, and people started booking it. Um, so it's one of his signature dishes, and it's actually not part of the menu, part of the meal that we ate, but he just decided to make an extra dish. So we are lucky and privileged to try this amazing pasta and talk about a fully loaded pasta. Mm. <laughs> and you can smell the chilies immediately. Because you just so like caramelized the chilies and the garlic in there. That is stunning. The lime peel zest in there. The crab just melts in your mouth. It's spicy. Yeah. So you all of like the the aroma of the chilies has come out. Yeah. When he caramelized I like them, the lambs, tempered them. The lambs kick the lime zest. The lime. Jai, jai, jai. Okay, I'm gonna be now. Mm. I've never had another pasta like this. <laughs> it is incredible. <laughs> We're having a chance to just hang out with the family at the end of the meal and they're all so incredibly nice and so cool. This is mom and dad, the whole family. You guys are amazing. Best people in my life. Best people. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Time to be. Dad is just quickly giving us a tour of the print shop, which has been open for 30 years. So cool. Oh, this is the modern, more modern press. Wow. Plastic card. Ah. Plastic card. Okay. Paper card. Print shop warehouse on the bottom floor. Gourmet French restaurant on the second floor, right in that window. What an experience. What a thrilling meal. Main curry paste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was an outstanding, it was an entertaining, it was a thrilling French food experience in industrial Bangkok. He has a story of determination, he has a story of practice, but I think it's that determination, it's that energy, his skills and his talent are next level. And he's just so much fun to watch and he's so positive, so energetic, and that's also what makes him so special. Thank you very much for watching this video and please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon and that way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching, goodbye from Bangkok, and I will see you on the next video.